think uh, no. Uh, now uh, the date of your exam. It's right. Is it right? Tell me, please. You know the yes. date of your exam. Okay. Uh, before exam, everybody must pass their final test. Also, in your individual cabinet, you can see the date and time of your test. Uh, in you cannot go to the exam. Uh, the decanate would not send you uh, inviting uh, to the final exam. And you cannot come to the university platform of the final exam. Do you understand me? Uh, the final test is obligatory for everybody. Uh, um, uh, you should pass that without the mark. I think 70%. Uh, you should answer it. You will have 100 questions and one hour for answer it. Uh, and uh, they are all tests and answer to the test. I think everybody has, right? Okay. But uh, you should study not number of the right question uh, answered because uh, uh, number may be changed in the uh, test answer. It depends on the computer. Do you understand me? Uh, okay. And if you pass to them, uh, what? Um, no, it's, uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, it's not very difficult. Uh, but the student from the previous course uh, uh, did not have a problem with a final test. Uh, you have the possibility to try to pass test at home. But in the previous year, the student uh, uh, passed their final test uh, on the library in the special computer club. Uh, I mean the Russian student. Yeah, in this year, uh, the English student, the international student, uh, will have a final test, English test, because only in this year we prepared the English test for the foreign students. It's also an obligatory step before the final exam. Okay. Uh, the next about uh, the uh, steps of the final exam. I, 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 you uh, before the exam, uh, you should check your individual cabinet uh, and see the time uh, and date of the final exam. Uh, on day, on, on uh, time, you should go to the um, exam cabinet. Uh, in exam cabinet, uh, the two teachers will wait. Um, you. Be... What? Uh, and two teachers and six students. No, it's uh, six or seven students. Uh, and uh, after that, the teacher uh, will show you the exam pilot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and call the number for the every student. No, for example, Alina, sir, number one, Koshimanu, number two, Asma, Sari, number three, no, and others. The next. You will have only 20 minutes for preparing. Um, um, after that, the teacher will ask the first student who uh, had a, buy, a ticket number one. It means, for example, Alina Ser. Before we answer it, you should show us 
uh, or uh, your passport with photo uh, or, or the uh, student card. Uh, student card is a зачетка. Uh, we will make photo uh, your face and your student card or a passport. Uh, and after that, uh, you must uh, answer it on the question. You will have only 10 minutes, not more. Uh, except of the questions uh, of the exam ticket and clinical case, uh, the teacher uh, will give you one another question. One or a two or another question. It depends of your answer. Do you have a question? Of the steps and procedure of the final exam. If you will uh, have a bad internet, uh, or uh, uh, you mm, uh, will left the uh, exam session, uh, you should try to come again. Do you understand me? And the teacher will uh, uh, wait you. Uh, but uh, if you uh, left after the uh, exam session more than three times uh, uh, and uh, if you have a problem with the internet you should print screen your ecran uh, and uh, send to the international decanate the letter uh, where uh, you uh, can describe your situation and the decanate I uh, change the date of your exam. It may be June, it may be August, it may be September. <clears throat> uh, it depends on the free time of the online exam. Uh, but uh, if a decanate uh, cannot find this time, free time for you, uh, you should come to our department on the last of the August or September. Uh, and try to pass uh, the exam, real exam. Uh, it difficult than online exam because you cannot use the books, uh, you can use the internet, telephone, uh, and other gadgets. Do you understand me? Uh, but now uh, you will have um, a great chance. Uh, to pass, to try to pass our exam successfully. Uh, I think more of us understand it. If not, um, uh, you can come to our department on the August. It depends on your desire. Uh, you should answer it on the first, second, and third question. Third question is a clinical case. Also, everybody has a clinical cases and answer it on the clinical case. It's not a problem. I uh, and now I will teach the consultation of have some questions and clinical cases of the uh, um, final exam. I switch on the stream and you can see uh, the presentation. Uh, today, firstly, we will speak about the uh, low limb after that of the clinical cases, and after that, maybe or a head and neck, it depends on our time. Uh, and uh, for example, the one of the ticket, exam ticket, will contain uh, the same question topography of the thesis and nerve of the femoral triangle, surgical access to the femoral artery in the femoral. Triangle. Uh, uh, how should you answer it? Firstly, uh, you should call the borders of the femoral triangle. Femoral triangle has three borders. Superior borders is the inguinal ligament. 
lateral bone that say is the um, tartarus muscle and medial uh, borders mm -hmm. is the adductor locus. Uh, inside uh, of the femoral triangle, uh, the femoral artery, femoral vein, and femoral nerve uh, is located. Uh, in this triangle, you can make a surgical access to the femoral artery and femoral vein and femoral nerve along of the imaging line. Imaging line or a projection line of the femoral artery is the line which connect the middle of the inguinal ligament uh, with the medial epicondylus of the femur. This imaging line uh, is called Kena line. Uh, you should, uh, uh, during the surgical access to the femoral artery, uh, you should uh, insist the skin, subcutaneous tissue, superficial fascia, uh, proper fascia. Uh, uh, proper fascia is called fascia lata, and fascia lata divided on the two laminas, superficial lamina and deep lamina. Superficial lamina covered the superficial muscle, sartorius muscle, and the deep uh, covered the uh, deep muscle. It's a quadratus. Uh, of femoris muscle. Uh, and uh, do, 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 do. Uh, the next question. Uh, topography of the femoral canal, femoral hernia, femoral and inguinal method of the surgery for the femoral hernia bassini method. Uh, uh, femoral canal is a pathological canal and it's uh, uh, wood uh, formed uh, uh, during the femoral hernia. Uh, femoral hernia is a protrusion of the organs of the abdominal cavity through the femoral ring. Uh, uh, where is the femoral ring? This is a femoral ring. A uh, femoral ring uh, has uh, four walls. Anterior wall uh, is an uh, inguinal ligament. Medial wall is a lacunar ligament. Lateral wall, femoral vein. And posterior wall uh, uh, is a, uh, a Cooper ligament. Uh, through this uh, ring, uh, the uh, hernia sag. Uh, past uh, and the hernia will be located on the middle um, part of the middle region of the chai. Um, the stages uh, of the uh, hernia repairing. Uh, firstly, uh, you should make the surgical access to the hernia, cut skin and subcutaneous tissue. The incision uh, you should make uh, above uh, of the lung of the uh, hernia tumor. Cut skin and subcutaneous tissue, superficial fascia uh, and proper fascia. And find the hernia sac. After that, you should uh, grab the fundus of the hernia sac and cut the hernia sac. The hernia sac is a parietal peritoneum. After that, you should make revision of the uh, hernia contents. If, uh, if it's uh, the living a loop, uh, you should um, return uh, the loop, uh, the Mm, loop of the intestine uh, inside of the abdominal cavity uh, and uh, stitch the femoral ring. Uh, how can you stitch the femoral ring? Uh, you should stitch the anterior wall to the posterior wall. You cannot stitch the medial wall to the lateral wall because lateral wall is a femoral vein. It means you should stitch the inguinal ligament to the Cooper ligament. Its method is called Bassini method. Um, then, next question. 
topography of the popliteal force, um, development of the collateral circulation of the popliteal artery occlusion, carrel vessel suturing. Uh, uh, popliteal fossa uh, uh, is a posterior part of the um, knee joint region. Uh, popliteal fossa uh, has a rhomboid shape. Uh, superiorly, uh, the rhomb is formed by the uh, tendril of the uh, biceps uh, muscle and the um, semitendinosus and semimembranosus muscle medially. Inferiorly is the uh, uh, head of the gastrocnemius muscle. Inside of the napopliteal fossa, you can find the fat. Uh, and here uh, in the fat, uh, uh, the artery, vein, and nerve is located. Uh, first layer, middle is a, a femoral nerve, or oh, sorry, uh, the sciatic nerve. Uh, after that, uh, the femoral popliteal vein, and after that, the popliteal artery. Uh, the sciatic nerve here divided on the uh, tibial nerve and common the perineal nerve. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the mm, next um, uh, blood supply. Uh, of the knee joint. A uh, knee joint has an atrial net. Uh, this net forms by the branches of the femoral artery and the branches of the popliteal and anterior and posterior tibial artery. Uh, it's a, a lateral and medial uh, collateral popliteal artery which connect uh, with the branches which gives the profundo femoral artery and femoral artery. Uh, uh, and um, carrel uh, surgery. Uh, carrel uh, is a, a French surgeon uh, and uh, uh, he uh, developed uh, the vascular surgery. Uh, what are the methods of uh, uh, the carrel surgery? Uh, firstly, uh, he made the free interrupt surgery on the same uh, distance uh, of the vessel. After that, the assistant tracked uh, to interrupt surgery uh, and the vessel transformed to the triangle. The next, um, he used uh, the uh, filaments, long filament, uh, and make and stitch the one side of the triangle by the continuous uterine. After that, the second uh, wall of the this triangle and posterior wall of this triangle. Uh, and uh, the next question. The next question, topography of the anterior region of the leg and classification of the limb amputation uh, based on the uh, form of the dissection of the soft tissue, fastoplastic amputation of the leg. Uh, topography, firstly, you should call the borders of the anterior region of the leg. Superior border, say, is a circle line of which draw from the tibial tuberositus. Inferior borders is the two finger above of the medial and lateral malleolus. Uh, the lateral borders is the two longitudinal line or a vertical line which draw from the medial malleolus and the lateral malleolus. And uh, this uh, line divided the leg on the anterior region of the leg and posterior region of the leg. Uh, this is a transverse section. Here you can see the anterior region, and here it's a posterior region uh, of the uh, leg. 
And next, you should call the layers of the anterior region of the leg. Firstly, is the skin. After that, the subcutaneous tissue, proper fascia, uh, superficial fascia, and proper fascia. Proper fascia gives uh, the saps to the fibula and tibia and divided the leg on the three compartment anterior compartment, posterior compartment, and um, the lateral compartment. Uh, and the anterior compartment includes some muscle, uh, anterior tibial muscle, uh, now extensor uh, halitus longus and extensor digitorum. The lateral compartment is a, a, a short and long uh, fibular muscle. Uh, uh, this uh, muscle Oh, wait, please, uh, one minute, so I call them. Mm-mm. Тихо, тихо. Нет, не по WhatsApp сейчас. Так, пиши. 798-1177-1456. О. Что за О? О. Большая О. X. О. Маленький X. Большая, большая. К. Большая. Б. Маленькая. Р. Маленькая. Р. Маленькая. И В. Большая. Что за мной все таки не О? Ну, сейчас я еще посмотрю. Попробуем по нулю. Би маленькая. Маленькая Би. Маленькая Р. Большая Ви. Разблокируй, разблокируй, разблокируй. Быстро, быстро, быстро. Угу. Ah, mm -hmm. um, the next is amputation uh, of the upper and lower limb. Amputation is the removing uh, of the part, uh, the three part of the lower or uh, upper limb. Uh, the classification of uh, the amputation has uh, three stages. First is the incision of the smooth tissue, second, a sewing of the bone, and third, a forming of the stump. A uh, classification of the amputation according to incision of the smooth tissue. Uh, uh, yeah, you can insist this uh, smooth tissue circle, it's a circle amputation. You can make incision, make incision um, uh, oval, it's an oval amputation, uh, or you can use, uh, you can uh, form the flare. Uh, as usual, the surgeon uh, used the uh, two flap amputation or a three flap amputation. Amputation of the uh, leg is the flaps amputation. You should, uh, on the first stages, um, the incision of the smooth tissue uh, and forming two flaps. The posterior flap should be longer than the anterior flap. Why? Uh, because the posterior compartment of the muscle bigger than the anterior compartment. Uh, the second stages is the sewing of the 
born. And before the sun, you should scrub the periosteum from the tibia and the, from the fibula. And uh, so the first fibula by the jiggly so or erectic so. And secondly, uh, the uh, uh, tibia. Uh, the next, you should ligate the artery uh, and vein uh, of the Smooth, from the smooth tissue uh, and um, cut the nerve uh, um, above of the uh, bones of three centimeters. And the last stages is the forming of the stump. Uh, you should close the, uh, the uh, bone uh, of the uh, proper fascia and above you should stitch the posterior uh, muscle of the posterior compartment with the anterior and lateral compartment and after that stitch skin and subcutaneous tissue use to interrupt or a mattress uterine uh, the next um, uh, is a um, clinical case and that's the bone of the anterior compartment of the tire was diagnosed in a patient. What's possibility way for spreading of the past in this case? Uh, mm, anterior compartment. Mm, anterior compartment contains uh, the uh, quadratus muscle. Uh, and here are the femoral artery. Um, a vein and nerve is located. It means uh, then a you can spread along of the artery vein uh, to the popliteal fossa. Uh, it can spread to the middle um, compartment of the um, tie. Uh, and also it uh, can go uh, to the pelvic cavity uh, through the uh, uh, lacuna vasorum uh, where the uh, external iliac artery transforms to the femoral artery. Uh, task 2. The patient with lemon of the posterior region of the past now of the tie, except to the surgical department. During the operation, it was found that the pus has spread under the gluteus maximus muscle and into the compartment of the adductor muscle. Give the topographical substation for the complication. Uh, posterior, mm, uh, posterior region of the tie contains less hiatic nerve. Sciatic nerve is a branch of the sacral nerve. Uh, along of the uh, sciatic nerve, the infection or a pure can spread uh, to the gluteus region uh, in the middle gluteal space, which located under the uh, gluteus maximus and gluteus medius muscle. Uh, and also, mm, uh, along of the uh, artery, the pure can spread to the medial compartment of the tie. During the football match, the football player has received the trauma fracture of the neck of the fibula. The foot is at the uh, position of the plantar flexion, its external module is lowered. What nerve is injury? Explain the place of the injury and symptom. Uh, no, here you can see the mm, uh, foot uh, of the patient who has um, uh, the injury of the common perineal nerve. A uh, common perineal nerve is a mixed nerve and uh, it's a branches of the sciatic nerve and the, the common perineal nerve um, across of the head of the fibula and after that divided on the external perineal nerve and internal perineal nerve or superficial and deep perineal nerve. Superficial perineal nerve mm. 
supply the lateral compartment, the muscle of the lateral compartment. The uh, deep perineal nerve supplies the muscle of the anterior compartment. Uh, it means if this uh, common perineal nerve will be damaged, uh, the muscle of the lateral compartment and the anterior compartment lose sensation. Uh, it means the patient cannot step on the calcaneus bone uh, and uh, on the uh, medial surface of the foot. And the patient can step only on the finger uh, and on the lateral um, surface of the um, foot. Uh, and uh, this position is, whole, is called a horse a foot, horse foot. Also, uh, the patient lose sensation on the uh, uh, lateral um, part uh, of the leg, of the skin of the leg, uh, and the dorsal uh, surface of the foot. Uh, and uh, uh, why uh, the uh, during the fracture of the neck of the fibula? Uh, this nerve can be damaged because this nerve hit it around the neck of the fibula. Do you understand? Yeah. No. Um, uh, I said to you uh, the uh, final our uh, exam ticket will include firstly a uh, first question topography, second question surgery, and third question is a clinical case. Do you understand me? Do we want only clinical case or do we want the topography of a different region? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, but uh, the presentation uh, <laughs> includes and topography and the uh, uh, clinical cases. Uh, it's a um, lower limb. After that, uh, I uh, uh, should change my presentation to the upper limb. Wait, please, uh, some minutes. I try change my presentation, okay? Sorry, <laughs> I forgot switch on. Okay, did you uh, see the presentation? Uh, and the inguinal canal is located inside of the inguinal triangle. The borders of the inguinal triangle lateral is the inguinal ligament, medial is the lateral margin of the rectus muscle, uh, and superiorly is the line which draws through the uh, superior third of the inguinal ligament. Uh, the uh, mm, uh, inguinal canal uh, has um, mm, uh, four walls. Uh, and two rings. Uh, and uh, the anterior wall uh, is uh, uh, a neurosis of external obliquus muscle. Posterior wall is a transverse uh, fascia. The superior layer is a, a, into, a margin of the internal obliquus muscle and transverse muscle. And inferiorly is the inguinal ligament. Uh, the um, male inguinal canal 
a contain the spermatic coat and ileo inguinal nerve. A female uh, uh, is contains the uterus ligament and ileo inguinal nerve. The uh, cognital, uh, uh, the cognital inguinal hernia formation. Uh, the cognital uh, hernia forms uh, uh, during the uh, elevation of the testes from the abdominal cavity uh, through the inguinal canal. Uh, and uh, if the, uh, uh, sometimes uh, the uh, the process of the testes, uh, which forms by the parietal peritoneum closed, uh, and the testes have the vagina. Sometimes uh, the hernias are connect with the testes. Uh, if you cut the uh, hernia sac and see the testes, it's maybe cognitive hernia. It's, uh, if you cannot find it, it's cognitive hernia. Uh, right here you can see the processing of the forming of the hernia. Uh, uh, the uh, stages of the hernia repairing. Uh, firstly, it's a surgical excess. A uh, surgical excess you should make um, above of the inguinal ligament uh, on the one or one and a half centimeters. Make incision and continue with incision to the scrotum. Uh, after that, uh, you should uh, find uh, and separate the hernia sac. The next, you should grab the hernia sac and cut the hernia sac. Uh, make revision of the uh, intestinal loop. Uh, return the intestinal loop to the abdominal cavity. And after that, you cannot remove the hernia sac and hernia sac uh, you, sh you should stitch around all, all the testes by the continue or interrupt surgery. Um, topography of the inguinal canal hernia to me no it's also uh, it's the same question and I answer it on this and all, only I repeat the stages. Firstly, is a surgical excess. Uh, a surgical excess, you should cut the skin, subcutaneous tissue, anterior wall of the inguinal canal. Anterior wall is the, of the inguinal canal uh, is the aponeurosis of the external obliquous muscle. After that, you should grab the hernia sac by the force uh, on the fundus and cut used or a copper scissor or a scalpel. After that, you should make revision of the hernia contents and return the hernia contents to the abdominal cavity. The next, you should ligate the neck of the hernia sac and uh, cut and remove the hernia sac. And uh, stitching uh, the uh, and the last stages of the uh, hernia repairing uh, is the plaster. Uh, you should stitch uh, the layers uh, of the uh, posterior inguinal canal. Uh, firstly, you should stitch the uh, internal and transverse muscle to the inguinal uh, uh, ligament. Uh, and after that, stitch um, the uh, medial flap to the inguinal ligament. After that, the lateral flap to the uh, above of the medial flap and stitch the skin and subcutaneous tissue. Uh, the next question. Peritoneal cavity, division of the abdominal cavity into compartments, topography of the pancreas, mm -hmm. operative excess. 
uh, the uh, peritoneal cavity is a part of the abdominal cavity which forms by the parietal peritone. Uh, transverse colon and mesocolon divided the abdominal cavity on the two compartments or the two parts or the two flows, superior floor and inferior floor. A uh, superior floor or a superior compartment includes uh, the liver, includes the mm, uh, spleen, uh, the stomach, uh, the abdominal part of esophagus, the pancreas, the cold blood, the superior part of the mm, duodenum. Uh, and uh, uh, some uh, sacs, it's a uh, lesser sacs or bursa or mentalis pregastric sac uh, uh, and uh, some ligaments. Uh, the pancreas is the organs which located, the holotopy of the pancreas uh, is located inside of the epigastric region, uh, the left hypochondric region. A uh, uh, skeleton to the superiorly uh, is the uh, 12 uh, thoracic vertebral, the first lumbar vertebra inferiorly, mm, uh, second to the third lumbar vertebra. Uh, the uh, syntope, uh, mm, uh, the head of mm. the pancreas ha has a head, uh, body, and the tail. The head located inside of the uh, loop of the duodenum. Uh, and uh, uh, anteriorly, the stomach is located posteriorly, the abdominal part of the aort, and mm -hmm. then a cover. Uh, the pancreas supplied by the uh, uh, pancreatodenal artery and uh, superiorly and inferior. Superiorly is the branches of the um, uh, gastrodenal artery, inferiorly of the uh, um, branches of abdominal part of the award. Uh, the uh, pancreas covered by the peritoneum of the one side is called the extra peritoneal organs. Uh, the surgical access to the pancreas is uh, very um, difficult uh, and um, uh, the every surgical access to the organs of the abdominal cavity is called uh, the laparotomy. Uh, you can use or a, a superior middle laparotomy or a oblique laparotomy along of the left um, uh, costal arch. Uh, firstly, you should uh, find the transfer colon and mesocolon and make opening inside of the mesocolon and find the pancreas. Uh, the next question. Uh, yeah, no one minute. Topography of the liver, no segment structure, hepatododenal ligament, uh, and the liver, no, holotopy of the liver. It's located inside of the right hypochondric region, epigastric region. Uh, and um, so some part, the part of the left lobe may be located inside of the left hypochondric region. Skeleton to be superior, it's a fourth intercostal phase. Uh, inferior, it's a, a margin of the costal arch. Uh, and the uh, syntope superiorly is a diaphragm, inferiorly is a gold bladder, and superior part of the duodenum uh, uh, on the laterally of the mm, uh, right colon flexor, uh, and here it's a um, stomach. Uh, the liver uh, uh, divided, uh, the surgical um, structure of the liver, the liver divided on the right lobe and the left lobe. Mm. 
are between the falciform ligament. Every lobe divided on the segment. The uh, right lobe has a uh, five segment one, two, three, four, five, and left divided on the three segment one, two, or three. Uh, every segment has a uh, uh, own segment artery, uh, own segment uh, vein, uh, and uh, own bile duct. The unit of the uh, liver is the lobulus. Uh, lobulus uh, is a uh, hepatocytes which located around to the central uh, vein. Uh, perfectly, the lobes uh, has a uh, um, triads: the uh, lobulus artery, lobulus vein, and lobulus duct. Uh, the blood supply of the liver. Uh, it's a common hepatic artery which transformed to the proper hepatic artery and divided on the right and left hepatic artery. Uh, uh, the right and left hepatic artery divided on the segment artery. Mm -hmm. And the second way uh, is uh, a portal um, uh, vein. Uh, portal vein uh, drains blood uh, through the organs of the superior and inferior compartment of the abdominal cavity. Uh, and the portal vein uh, forms, the, oh, I show you, um, uh, forms uh, behind of the pancreas uh, or head of the pancreas. Uh, of the uh, splenic vein and um, superior mesenteric vein and on the portal vein. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the third way is um, uh, hepatic vein. Hepatic, uh, there are three hepatic vein which drain blood to the inferior cover uh, vein. Uh, a hepatoduodenal ligament um, contains uh, the uh, common bile duct, uh, uh, the proper hepatic artery, mm -hmm. and portal vein. Uh, this ligament uh, used uh, during the uh, liver bleeding. Uh, the surgeon may clamp by the special hemostatic smooth clamp uh, this ligament uh, and stop bleeding uh, from the portal vein, hepatic artery, uh, and uh, um, close to the bile duct. You can clamp the uh, uh, hepatoduodenal ligament only on the uh, 15 20 minutes, not more, and make some manipulation of the uh, liver. Uh, how can you stop bleeding of the injury of the uh, liver? No, firstly, you can stitch the wood of the liver. I better use the mattress suture uh, or the special material or a tamponade by the. Uh, uh, large, I mean to major. Uh, topography of the uh, small intestine. I know it's uh, simple. The small intestine has three parts: the duodenal uh, part. After that, the um. Mm, uh, jejunum and ileum. Uh, the um, duodenum. Uh, the duodenum has a four parts. Uh, it's a superior part, descending part, transverse part, and uh, uh, ascending part. The superior part covered by the peritoneum on the all side, and descending transverse is ascending on the one side. Uh, the duodenum does not have a mesenterics. The duodenal um, jejunum flexor 
uh, at age to the second lumbar uh, process by the traits uh, ligaments or uh, duodenal suspensorium ligament. Uh, blood supply of the uh, duodenum. Um, there are four arteries which connect between and make anastomosis and uh, uh, superior, anterior, and posterior pancreatic duodenal arteries and inferior, uh, anterior, and posterior pancreatic duodenal arteries, which start from the uh, or uh, the um, superior mesenteric artery or uh, sometimes from the abdominal part of the aorta. Uh, mesenteric sinuses. Um, mesenteric sinuses. Uh, it's a porch of the abdominal cavity located uh, below of the transverse colon. Uh, and uh, the, every sinus has a triangle um, form. Uh, right mesenteric sinuses. Uh, laterally is the ascending colon, superior transverse colon and mesocolon, and medially uh, is the roof of the mesenteric. Uh, left sinuses uh, laterally is descending colon, um, uh, medially is the roof of the mesenteric, and inferiorly is the um, mesenteric of the sigmoid colon. And the practical means of the sinuses here. Uh, the pathological fluid may concentrate uh, and you should revision and evacuate pathological fluid. It may be or exodat or um, transodat during the astitis or, or uh, blood. Uh, technical. No, uh, here you can see the uh, types of the laparotomy. Uh, it's a longitudinal. Uh, there are five groups. Uh, it's a longitudinal, transverse laparotomy, oblique laparotomy, uh, angle laparotomy, and combined laparotomy. Uh, uh, this is a, a, a longitudinal. Uh, Middle laparotomy is divided on the superior mid laparotomy, uh, mid uh, mid laparotomy, and inferior mid laparotomy. Uh, this is a transrectal laparotomy. Uh, this is a surgical access to the appendix. This is a transverse laparotomy uh, by punch steel, uh, and uh, this is a Watcher laparotomy is a surgical access to the liver or a gold blood. Uh, uh, here you can see the stages of the uh, intestinal anastomosis. Uh, no, uh, firstly, uh, you should remove the part of the intestinum and after that connect. Uh, now there are four types of the anastomosis, end by end, end by side, side by end, and uh, side by side. Uh, here you can see the anastomosis side by side. Firstly, you should close the um, uh, free end of the proximal and distal end. Use the two road stitching. Firstly, you can use, uh, use the penetrate continuous uterine. The second row, you can use the lumbar uterine. After that, uh, you should make uh, a posterior labium and stitch the posterior labium of the anastomosis. Firstly, you should use the lumbar uterine, non penetrate uterine. After that, cutting the um, wall of the uh, uh, intestinum and stitch the posterior labium by the penetrate uterine. Here the surgeon used the continue penetrate uterine. After that uh, you should uh, stitch the anterior labium of the anastomosis. Uh, here the surgeon used the uh, Schmidden's uterus. Schmidden uh, penetrates uterine, and the second road is not penetrates uterine, lumbar uterine. Uh, mm -hmm. 
appendectomy. I think uh, you have um, the clinical. Так, uh, uh, you uh, uh, don't want that I describe the clinical cases, right? Okay, now uh, the next presentation. Um, the pelvis, topography of the peritoneal part of the pelvis. Drainage of the rectal urine and pouch, puncture of the abdominal cavity for the posterior vagina, forming the our posterior vagina wall. And the peritoneal cavity um, divided on the three parts uh, or three floors. Superior floor is called the peritoneal part or peritoneal floor. Uh, firstly, you should call the borders of the peritoneal floor. Superior borders is a major plate which draw through the base of the sacrum uh, and the pubic surfaces, like this. Uh, and inferior borders of the peritoneal cavity is a parietal lamina of the peritoneum which cover it the organ. And uh, uh, you should call the organs of female peritoneal part and male. Uh, here you can say the female. The female has a uh, apex of the urine bladder and the body, uh, body of the urine bladder. Uh, the next, the uh, more part of the uh, uterus except of the neck of the uterus. The next uterine tube and the ovarium. Uh, and the part of the rectum which has a peritoneum. Uh, between urine blood and the uterus uh, is located a vesic uterine porch. Between the uh, uterus and the rectum, uh, the uh, recta uterina porch. Recta uterina porch is called Douglas of uh, space. Uh, and here, uh, my pathological fluid is concentrate. Uh, uh, and there, where is a female? A male, I'm sorry. Uh, um, unfortunately, this picture does not contain them. Male pelvis. The male has uh, also the apex of the uh, end body of the uh, urine bladder uh, and uh, the uh, rectum, which covered by the peritoneum, uh, the uh, uterus and urine tube and the ovarium. Man does not have. Uh, and uh, the next is a. Uh, uh, puncture of the abdominal cavity through the posterior um, vagina fornix or vagina um, wall. Uh, and the indication to the puncture of the Douglas porch or a Douglas um, space uh, indication it's maybe a, a ectopic pregnancy or a tube pregnancy or a ovarium pregnancy or a abdominal pregnancy. Uh, the tube damage and the blood uh, goes to this porch. And you should puncture the abdominal cavity through the posterior wall of the vagina and evacuate, you know, as usually is a um, uh, blood. Uh, the special surgical instruments, the punctual needle, the vaginal speculum, uh, and the mm, uh, uh, uterine uh, clump, Schroeder or Doyen uh, clump. Uh, the position of the woman on the special gynecological chairs, arm chairs, uh, and uh, after that, uh, you should retract the walls of the vagina by the uh, gynecologist speculum. 
The next, you should grab the posterior labium of the neck of the uterus by the shirotter or duoian uh, clumps and tract uh, uh, forward. Uh, and the next, pierce the posterior wall of the uh, vagina by the puncture needle. Uh, the tip of the needle should be one or one and a half centimeters, not more. Uh, the number way you can damage the loop of the intestine. Um, the topography of the blood, the ureter, prostate was different. Surgical treatment of the blood injury. Uh, no, you should call it the uh, blood, the urine blood, uh, organs which are located inside of the pelvic cavity and the uh, apex and uh, body uh, located on the peritoneal part of the cavity, the uh, bottom and body also uh, located inside of the subperitoneal part. Uh, the urine blood uh, has a, um, uh, a free layers at first left peritoneal, Redentation after that the muscle lays and after that epithelium. Uh, the urine blood are supplied by the superior uh, vesicular artery and inferior vesicular artery. Um, the superior vesicular artery is a branches uh, of uh, the um, uh, internal uh, iliac artery and also the inferior also. Uh, and the drained blood to the superior and the inferior uh, vesicle vein. Uh, the uh, urine blood has a neck, and here the uh, urethra is located. Uh, the length of the female urethra is 3 cm, the length of the male urethra uh, now, uh, is usually 20 to 20 meters. Uh, the male urethra divided on the three parts. The first is the prostatic part, the second membranous part, and our uh, third is the spongious part. Uh, uh, and uh, prostatic gland. Prostatic gland uh, is a muscular gland's organs. Oh, which uh, produce the fluid for the uh, sperm. Uh, and uh, it has uh, three, two or three lobes. Uh, blood supply of the prostate by the prostatic artery, which branches uh, of the um, uh, internal iliac artery. Uh, uh, was uh, difference. Uh, vast difference uh, is um, uh, located inside of the inguinal canal and has an ampulla and opening to the ureter. Uh, vast difference uh, uh, has uh, an artery, a vein, and no artery. It's a uh, vast difference artery, vein, it's a plexus which located around so the vast difference. Uh, uh, and the nerve, it's uh, branches of the uh, veget vegetative um, pelvis plexus. Uh, the surgical access uh, to the uh, uh, prostate glands is uh, very difficult. You can make surgical access above of the uh, pubic symphysis uh, here. It's an inferior uh, middle uh, incision of the anterior abdominal wall. Uh, or you can make uh, the um, surgical excess through the perineum. Uh, treatment of the blood injury. Uh, no, uh, first surgical treatment uh, you can make uh, no, it depends on the blood injury. It's uh, maybe a penetrated wound of the uh, and uh, this way goes to the uh, urine peritonitis. It's a very a terrible uh, condition. 
uh, and uh, you should stitch the wood of the uh, urine blood. Our first mm -hmm. day you should evacuate uh, of the urine from the urine mm -hmm. blood. How you should make the puncture of the urine blood? Puncture of the urine or, or uh, catheterization of mm -hmm. the urine blood through the urethra or make a puncture of urine blood through the anterior abdominal wall. Uh, it's at uh, two centimeters above of the uh, pubic symphysis. Uh, you should use the uh, puncture needle and pierce uh, perpendicular and uh, uh, pierce the wall of the urine blood and evacuate the uh, blood. And after that, uh, evacuate the urine. Uh, and after that, you should make a surgical access to the urine blood to find uh, the wood and stitch the wood. Uh, you can use the inferior uh, medium eye incision. I insist the skin, subcutaneous tissue, superficial fascia, proper fascia, the aponeurosis of the uh, muscle. Uh, and uh, after that, find the uh, apex of the uh, urine blood. Uh, stitch, uh, make the two interrupts to uh, uh, suturing of the base uh, of the apex of the urine blood to the uh, traction of the urine blood for the operation of water and make a suturing. Uh, you can use the two roads uterine. First row should be penetrate, second non-penetrate. Uh, no, also, uh, or you can use the interrupt penetrate uterine and second the uh, Lambert's uterine. Or uh, uh, you can use the continuous uterine. It depends on the size of the urine blood or wood. Talk uh, next. It's a task. Ah, and also you should drench the uh, spaces of the pelvic cavity because the urine uh, goes to the visceral and parietal spaces. And also you should drench the abdominal cavity because the urine also goes to the abdominal cavity. It's obligatory. Так, it's um, clinical cases on the region uh, and blood supply, particularity of the blood supply and of the smooth tissue of the head. Uh, front operator occipital region. Firstly, you should hold the bodies of the front operator occipital region. Uh, anterior bodies is a globally a supraorbital margin. Uh, laterally in the superior temporal line and posteriorly in the superior nuchal line and occipital tuberculum. Uh, after that, you should call the layers. Uh, firstly, it's a skin. After that, a subcutaneous tissue. Uh, subcutaneous tissue divided on the many cells uh, by the seps, uh, which goes uh, from the uh, Aponeurosis, the cranial aponeurosis to the skin. Uh, inside of the subcutaneous tissue, you can find the superficial artery and vein. The walls of the vessels connect with the seps, uh, it means during the injury, uh, the uh, artery and vein cannot close, and the patient may have a very long bleeding. Uh, the next place is the um, uh, epicranial muscle. Epicranial muscle has uh, two belly, the frontal belly and the occipital belly between the tendon. Uh, tendon has a plate uh, shape, uh, it means uh, this tendon is called aponeurosis. Uh, and sometimes uh, this aponeurosis is uh, called uh, um, the uh, Galia aponeurotica. Uh, after that, uh, the uh, subaponeurotic space. Subaponeurotic space also contains the vessels. And here, 
uh, during the trauma, uh, the patient may have a bleeding. The hematome uh, uh, will spread uh, f- uh, through the supraorbital margin to the superior nuclear line. Uh, after that is the periosteum, and after the periosteum, superiorostal space. The superiorostal, uh, uh, the periosteum, uh, closed fixate uh, uh, on the um, suturing of the bone. I uh, it mean I uh, if a patient will have a trauma uh, vessels which located inside of the. A uh, subperiosteum space, the hematome may located uh, on the um, uh, bone area. No, for example, uh, on the temporal bone, on the parietal bone, and others. Others. It's a particularity of the blood supply. Uh, after that, the bone. Bone has a three tables. Uh, there are external tables, the deployer, and internal tables. After that, intercostal, um, oh, sorry, epidural space, the next dura mater. Dura mater has uh, two lamina, superficial lamina and deep lamina. Um, in some places, containing there in blood. Uh, its um, structure is called sinuses. Uh, what difference is between sinuses and vein? Sinuses does not have a muscle laid. It means during the injury of the sinuses, sinuses cannot close and the patient has a very strong lung bleeding. Uh, sometimes it goes to the um, death. Uh, and uh, the next uh, is uh, Subdural space, after that, arachnoid matra, after that, subarachnoid space, and after that, pia matra. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, and uh, the next is a brain. Uh-huh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next, the next is a, a topography of the temporal region. Also, you should call the borders of the temporal region. Superior and posterior is a superior temporal line. Inferior is a chromatic arch and anteriorly uh, is a, a frontal process of the zygomatic bone and the zygomatic process of the frontal bone. The less of the uh, temporal region uh, skin, subcutaneous tissue, superficial fascia, and proper fascia. Proper fascia is called um, the temporal fascia. Temporal fascia divided on the two lamina, superficial lamina and deep lamina. Superficial lamina attached to the external surface of the zygomatic arch, and deep lamina attached to the internal uh, surface of the zygomatic arch between uh, intraaponeurotic space. Mm. Interoponeurotic space is a closed space. It means the infection or pure if concentrate here can spread to the another region. Uh, after that, uh, the uh, uh, subaponeurotic space, subaponeurotic space located between the internal lamina of the temporal fascia and temporal muscle. Uh, this, uh, this space, subaponeurotic space, connect with the uh, um, buccal region. Um, buccal region uh, contains uh, the adipose body. Adipose body has uh, three processes. One of them is the temporal processes. Uh, it means uh, along of these processes, infection can spread to the uh, buccal region. The next is a temporal muscle. After that, um, uh, muscle pe- uh, periosteum uh, cellular spaces also. Uh, and the spaces uh, connect uh, by the pterygopalatina fossa with the uh, cerebral, uh, middle cerebral fossa of the uh, uh, cranial cavity. No, and the next uh, and the next day is the temporal bone. Uh, what is the particularity of the temporal bone? 
atomopolis temporal bone, uh, according of the frontal bone, thick or thin? Yeah, uh, it's very thin, uh, uh, and the internal table is called window table. Uh, during the tram, I uh, hear the internal table may be damaged and damaging the medial meningeal artery, and the patient may have a, a, a epidural hematome. What should you do during the epidural hematome? You should make a treponation. Treponation is a surgical access to the uh, cranial cavity. Uh, the uh, treponation can be divided on the uh, two types. Uh, it's a osteoplastic treponation and the compressive treponation. Uh, no, um, um, during the epidural hematome, you should make the osteoplastic treponation. The stages of the osteoplastic treponation. First, stages is the forming of the uh, muscular aponeurotic cutaneous flap. Uh, the um, second stage is the forming uh, the periosteostal flap. Um, firstly, you should cut the periosteum and after that, uh, um, making of the holes by the drill. Uh, the next between uh, the holes, uh, you should make a, free, a minimum three, a maximum eight or nine uh, holes. Between, uh, you should use the electric uh, saw and sewing uh, the uh, bone. Uh, or uh, the, you can use the, the jiggly uh, saw uh, with the pollen of probe. Uh, and the last stages, first stages, you should cut the dura mater. Uh, you should use the um, uh, uh, oval uh, or a horse shape uh, incision. After that, uh, you should make manipulation to the equation of the hematomes uh, or uh, equation of the tumor and java cells and return the dura mater, uh, return the periosteo uh, osteo flap and return the uh, muscular aponeurotic flap. Uh, the next is the topography of the mastoidus region. Uh, mastoidus region, um, firstly, borders. Uh, superiorly is a horizontal line which draw through the uh, zygomatic arch, inferiorly apex of the mastoid process, and the posterior, the posterior uh, wall of the mastoid process. A layers of the mastoid process skin, subcutaneous tissue, proper pressure, and the periosteum and bone. Uh, the mastoid process uh, contains the many cells, uh, and some of them connect and forms the uh, atrium. Uh, here, the pure from the middle part of the ear may go to the um, mastoid process and forms the pathological condition formation of the mastoid process is called mastoiditis. How can you evacuate the pure from the mastoid process? You should make the trepanation of the mastoid process, but you can do it only inside of the Shippo triangle. Why? If you make the trepanation up of this triangle, you can damage uh, the brain which located inside of the middle cranial fossa. Uh, if you trepanate laterally, you can damage uh, the uh, um, uh, sinuses, the sigmoid sinuses. If you make trepanation medially, you can damage the facial nerve, uh, the costal part of the facial nerve. But uh, you must know the uh, borders of the Shippo triangle. Superior borders is a line which draw through the zygomatic arch. Posterior borders uh, it's a line which draw through the crest, a mustard crest. Uh, 
and the medially is a um, a vertical line which draw through the hiatus acousticus externus. Uh, the next is a topography of the parietal, uh, sorry, uh, topography of the parietal mesoteric region and parietal glands and the spreading of the pure during the parietitis and the operative surgery of the um, acute parietitis. Uh, and uh, then borders of the uh, um, uh, parietida masseteric region. Uh, superiorly is a, oh sorry, a uh, superiorly is a zygomatic arch, inferior, inferior margin of the lower jaw, uh, posterior is a horizontal line which draw through the hiatus acousticus internus, and the anteriorly is the anterior margin of the masoteric margin. After that, uh, uh, the layers of the, uh, this region. The first it is the skin, after that, subcutaneous tissue, after that, superficial fascia and proper fascia. Uh, proper fascia are divided on the two lamina, anterior. Uh, external and internal. Uh, external um, lamina forms the capsule of the parotid gland, and here you can see the parotid gland. Uh, the internal forms uh, a capsule of the um, masseter muscle. The next is the skin uh, and the parapharyngeal space. Uh, the uh, uh, parotid gland has its uh, own capsule, uh, and the uh, nerve supply of the parotid glands by the branches of the glossopharyngeus nerve. But through the uh, parotid glands, the motor branches of the facial nerve is passed here. And during the pure inflammation, the motor branches of the facial nerve may be pressed. And the mimic muscle, which uh, this nerve supply, uh, lose sensation, and the patient uh, will have a paralysis of the, uh, one part or a two part of the face. The branches, the motor branches of the facial nerve, is the temporal branches, is the temporal branches, the gomatic branches, buccal branches. Um, mandibular branches and cervical branches. During the pure parotitis, you should make incision and evacuate pure from the parotid gland. You should make the incision like this, parallel uh, of the branches, motor branches of the facial nerve. Do you understand? Um, the next is the topography of the buccal region. And topography of the uh, fat uh, buccal corpse uh, and the ways of the uh, infection or pure spreading on the face. Uh, the buccal region located here, uh, the borders uh, anterior is the nasal. Labrum fold and uh, nasal labrum fold and nasal fold. Uh, then posteriorly is the anterior margin of the masseter muscle. Superiorly is the zygomatic arch. Inferiorly is the uh, inferior margin of the um, low jaw. Uh, the layers uh, of the um, buccal region, skin subcutaneous tissue. Superficial fascia, proper fascia, proper fascia covered the uh, buccal muscle, and after the buccal muscle, the uh, uh, <coughs> uh, buccal uh, fat is located. Buccal fat is called uh, bisha. Uh, fat, uh, and it has the three processes. The temporal processes, zygomatic processes, and maxillary processes. 
uh, it means the infection can spread along of these processes to the temporal region, um, to the deep fascial region, and through the pterygopalatin fossa to the um, oral nasal cavity and the medial uh, cranial fossa or medial cranial fossa. Uh, do you understand? Mm -hmm. uh, what you, uh, you did not see the stream and why you say it only now? No? <laughs> And I answer it on the question. Uh, and the. Uh, and uh, the neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fascia and cellular space of the neck. Uh, you should call the five fascia of the neck. Firstly, it's a superficial fascia, which covered uh, the platysma muscle. After that, the proper fascia. Proper fascia covered the um, sternocleidomastoidus muscle and temporal muscle. Mm. Oh, sorry, uh, trapezoidus muscle. Uh, and uh, the next is the deep lamen of the proper fascia or omoclavicularis fascia. Omoclavicularis fascia attached to the uh, hyoid bone superiorly and inferiorly to the clavicula and forms uh, and covers the muscle, uh, sternothyroid muscle, uh, sternohyoid muscle, uh, omohyoid muscle and uh, tyrohyoid muscle. Uh, the next, uh, uh, the fourth fascia is called the endocervical fascia. Endocervical fascia divides on the two lamina, parietal lamina and visceral lamina. Parietal lamina uh, forms the bandage for the uh, carotid uh, artery, internal jugular vein and vagus nerve. Uh, and the uh, visceral um, lamina covered the organs and formed the capsule uh, for the thyroid glands, uh, the uh, esophagus, and uh, the uh, trachea. And the last fascia is a prevertebral fascia which covered uh, the uh, long uh, cervical muscle and uh, long capitis muscle. Mm. And there, uh, cellular spaces of the neck is also divided on the two groups. Uh, the first group is the closed uh, cellular spaces. Uh, there are three, uh, and uh, they are open, open and connected with another region. Uh, firstly, I called them closed spaces. Uh, it's a submandibular spaces. Um, the mm, uh, proper fascia, second fascia of the neck, forms the capsule of the submandibular gland, and here the submandibular cellular space is located. Uh, the second closed space uh, is a uh, uh, intraperneurotic space. Uh, intraperneurotic space uh, located um, between the uh, proper fascia and omoclavicularis fascia. Uh, and the last close cellular space is the sternocleidomastoidal space. Uh, the next space is the spaces of the is open spaces of the uh, neovascular bandage uh, and along of the artery and vein and north um, the uh, pathological fluid or pure can spread to the anterior and posterior mediastinum. Uh, the next is the pretracheal and uh, prevertebral spaces. It spaces also opening uh, and uh, the um, pathological fluid can spread uh, to the posterior mediastinum. Uh, the next, uh, the surgical treatment of the uh, phlegmons. 
uh, you should make an uh, incision, uh, um, depends of the cellular spaces. If it's a um, uh, sternocleidomastoidal cellular spaces, uh, you should uh, make incision behind of the sternocleidomastoidus uh, muscle and drench it. If you won't drench the uh, cellular spaces of the uh, nerve vessels uh, bandage, uh, you can make the surgical excess uh, along of the anterior mm, margin of the sternocleidomastoidus muscle. If you won't drench to the submandibular cellular spaces, you should make incision uh, on, uh, below of the uh, inferior margin of the lower jaw inside of the gastric triangle. Uh, the next is the uh, topography of the carotid triangle. You should call the borders of the carotid triangle and contents of the carotid triangle. The borders posterior, anterior margin of the sternocleidomastoidus muscle. Uh, anteriorly is a um, uh, superior belly of the omohyoidus muscle and superiorly is a posterior belly of the digastic muscle. The carotid triangle contains the common carotid artery, internal jugular vein and behind the vagus nerve. Uh, the common carotid artery uh, divided on the bifurcate on the external carotid artery and the internal carotid artery. What difference is between external and internal carotid artery? External carotid artery gives the branches of the neck. The internal carotid artery does not give the branches uh, on the neck. Uh, how can you um, uh, make a surgical access to the uh, common carotid artery, uh, internal jugular vein, uh, or uh, uh, vagus nerve? You should make incision along of the anterior margin of the sternocleidomastoidus muscle inside of the carotid triangle. Uh, topography of the sternocleidomastoid uh, region and vagus sympathetic block by Vishnevsky. Uh, firstly, the borders. Uh, the borders uh, superiorly mastoid process, inferiorly is a um, uh, clavicular and vertebral notch of the sternum, and the lateral, a uh, medial and lateral uh, is the borders of the sternocleidum stadus muscle. The left, a uh, skin subcutaneous tissue, superficial fascia, proper fascia, which forms the uh, capsule of the sternocleidum stadus muscle, um, uh, and uh, behind, uh, if you remove this muscle. Um, uh, you can see the uh, pre uh, scalene uh, um, fissure and uh, intrascalene fissure are uh, here. Uh, inside of the uh, intrascalene fissure, uh, the subclavia artery, subclavia vein is located, and the phrenic nerve. Mm -hmm. uh, the vagosympathetic block, to, no indication to this manipulation, as usual, the a broken of the clavicula. Uh, the position of the patient, patient should uh, line uh, and the um, head uh, turn to the opposite side. Uh, firstly, the surgeon uh, should uh, find the point for the uh, incision. Uh, this point located on uh, the cross or uh, posterior uh, mm, margin of the sternocleidomastoidus muscle and uh, external jugular vein. Uh, if you cannot see the external jugular vein, uh, you should draw the horizontal line through the um, uh, hyoid bone. The next, by the indexes, the surgeon. Um, no. elevate the sternocleidomastoidus muscle and uh, pierce uh, the needle. The needle connects with serum. Serum contains uh, the novocoin uh, or lidocoin. Uh, and after that, uh, the surgeon uh, pierces the smooth tissue uh, to the uh, six uh, uh, 
uh, cervical vertebra. Uh, and after that, uh, push the solution of the anesthetic. Uh, after the, this manipulation, uh, the uh, skin in this place become red uh, and um, uh, uh, the patient also may have uh, ptos and myos. Mm -hmm. The next is the topography of the thyroid and parathyroid glands. It's not difficult, I think. Tracheotomy also, you can see the film. Um, uh, obligatory, you should call them special surgical instruments. Uh, uh, firstly, is a chance in your hook. Uh, uh, trousseau, uh, tracheolivator, uh, uh, and uh, tracheotube. Tracheotube uh, may uh, on a time using or many time using. Uh, for adult, you should make the superior tracheotomy. For children, you should make the inferior laparotomy. What is the superior and inferior? It's the level of the um, tracheal ring cutting. If you cut the second and third uh, uh, tracheal ring, it's a superior. It's a, a five and six is inferior. Uh, or above of the isthmus or below of the isthmus. Do you understand? Do you have a question? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can. Now, what uh, do you want? Uh, what can you copy that is another one minute? I know it's the wrong so I change. Uh, it's a uh, uh, what do you want to uh, neck? You want neck? One minute, I really need get rid of me. <laughs> Not wrong. Mm -hmm. What do you want? What is the question? What question? Into five. Ah, uh, neck or uh, five. Six. Uh, six. It's uh, uh -huh. five. It's uh, topography of a book region. For topography of the protein, the mesoteric region. Uh, topography uh, of the mastoid region. Mm -hmm. Topography of the temporal region. Uh, and one uh, topography of the frontoparietal occipital region. Mm -hmm. That's all. Now do you have another question? Okay, it's this. Uh, today is the last uh, practical classes uh, in this semester and uh, we will wait you on the final exam. So we hope uh, everybody uh, passed the final test uh, and will come to final exam. Okay? Uh, yeah, and the final test, yeah, 100 questions. Uh, um, um, is usual one right question, but sometimes two or three right question. 
Uh, but if you check only one question from the three, you will have, no, for example, a 25% for, for these answers, not zero. You understand me? Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know the question, I say you goodbye and we'll wait you on the exam, okay? Ah, one minute, so I should uh, uh, make um, uh, attendance, your attendance. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>